Dr. Thompson, we have talked about being prepared and that our, you can look around at a, in a situation where someone is having a heart attack and there might be, very likely might be, a defibrillator. Right. I said right. that, defibrillator. Defibrillator, there. you did. And uh, it's important, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's literally life-saving. You know, uh, a lot of people learn CPR and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. It's an extremely important thing. And I think most high schools and colleges now, a lot of people in their workplace have CPR classes, and I mm -hmm. encourage people to learn CPR. I'm a CPR survivor, as you well know, and, and, and it's a wonderful thing. But out in, in the community, mm -hmm. away from the hospital, right. away from the uh, uh, ambulance p personnel, the chances of surviving CPR are 1 in 20. So 5% of people survive if they have a sudden cardiac death that survives CPR. And most die because of an arrhythmia called mm -hmm. ventricular fibrillation. And to combat that, we yes. have these nifty little devices mm -hmm. called AEDs or automated or automatic electronic defibrillators. And these are amazing little machines. The computer age is, this is kind of mm -hmm. the high tech right. computer uh, uh, defibrillator. Initially, these were put in cl uh, clinics and in ambulances. Then they went into fire trucks and police cars. And now they are, we, we want these to be everywhere. Places of business, community centers, uh, churches, uh, mm -hmm. gymnasiums, anywhere where people gather. And these are automated, computerized little uh, machines that basically there's various types mm -hmm. and it tells you in about sixth or fifth grade terms what to do. So it's user friendly. It's very user friendly. Okay. The instructions are very clear. This particular model you can push a button and a computer voice will walk you through what to do. But basically they're all about the same. They mm -hmm. come apart. Uh, the lid comes off. There's a set of pads mm -hmm. that are hooked to the machine by wires and there's two of them and it shows you on the pads where to put them on the person's chest. So while you're doing CPR, you stop for a second, or even before you start CPR, right. if you think someone may be having a heart attack, if there's an AED anywhere, get it to the person and put, them, put the pads on them. And then uh, it'll tell you, it'll start analyzing the rhythm, and it won't shock the person unless they have ventricular fibrillation, which is a deadly arrhythmia. There will oh. be a voice prompt to stay clear of the body or, or the person's body, okay. not the body yet, mm -hmm. and, and it'll, it'll deliver a shock. And with this, the chances of surviving CPR are many fold greater. In some communities that have bystander CPR and AEDs, mm -hmm. 50 to 70 percent of individuals will survive CPR in those communities as compared to, uh, compared to 5 percent. So these are, are amazing. They this are. particular model has a lithium battery in it. You mm -hmm. put it on the shelf, it'll uh, stay active for five years. Five years. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to recharge it. It'll tell uh, itself. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, test the battery itself. Mm -hmm. It'll test the unit itself. And for the other thing, for the public, there's no liability with these. All the liability is in the machine. You can't do anything wrong. It's not like you can get sued by putting this on somebody. Mm -hmm. it, it, if it shocks somebody, it's uh, uh, the manufacturer's liability and not yours. But mm -hmm. this machine will not save one single person if an individual doesn't go get it and put it on the person. So there have been people die oh. in buildings where these units were steps away and nobody went to get it because nobody knew it was there. So if you get them in your business, in your, in your community center, mm -hmm. mark them, tell people that you have them, and if someone is having trouble, go get the AED and put it on them. It'll literally be life-saving for them if they have sudden cardiac death. So it's crucial to let people know where they are Correct. and let them know that they are user-friendly. Right, right. They're very user-friendly. And most companies that have them, if people mm -hmm. have CPR classes or OSHA meetings, mm -hmm. in just a few minutes uh, you can, uh, you can uh, have this uh, uh, update. Mm -hmm. And there also uh, is an organization, the Sudden Cardiac uh, Arrest Association, 
that will provide speakers to come out and talk to you about these machines and help them uh, help people get them uh, where they need to be. We're making strides, aren't we? Yes, we are. So uh, look into this. It's uh, very important. Will do. Thank you.